California firefighters going viral with a post simply being used as an example. You can see they've knocked a car's windows out and run their hose right through the middle of it. They did it because it was parked in front of a fire hydrant, a huge no-no. Uh, we spoke with local officials about the situation here. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey joins us now with what Mobile Fire Rescue says will happen if you are caught in that situation. Kim, in general, you don't want to park within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. I spoke with Mobile Fire Rescue. They say from what they can remember, they've never had to break out windows of a car here, but they say if it's in the way, it can happen. With more than 2,600 retweets and almost 6,000 likes, a post meant to be a prime example has gone viral. Anaheim Fire and Rescue in California posted pictures of a car with smashed windows and a hose going from one end to the other. The post says it's to show what happens when a car is parked in front of a fire hydrant and a fire breaks out. The fastest route, usually. Stephen Milhouse with Mobile Fire and Rescue says when responding to a fire, they take the fastest route to get to the hydrant, and your car just isn't their priority. Because we're concerned with uh, the fire that's either at that home or that business. If you're parked in front of a hydrant, he says which route they take depends on where you're parked. If we can lay it on top of the car across the hood or, or directly on top. It depends on how close or how far away the vehicle is. He says that's because the hose needs a straight line out of the hydrant. You don't want to have any kinks in the line, uh, which reduces your, your water pressure. It's a decision that could cost you in more ways than one. We need those fire hydrants for emergency use, so um, there may not be an emergency in that area right now, but that doesn't mean that there will not be one in the next minute. Now, if you are caught parking in front of a fire hydrant, you could face up to $100 in fines. Reporting live in Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC.